Um, first question. We discovered you in 2017 mm -hmm. in Paris at Animals. Mm -hmm. It was the, your first date in the world. Mm -hmm. um, what has evolved since then? Uh, well, um, I worked more on my personality as well as my music, my skills, and I uh, learned English as well as French. You, are, you have a character, the mm -hmm. Sultan. Yes. Um, as animals, you were hidden. You were uh, you had like a real uh, I don't know how to say it, but you had the real characters, and mm -hmm. it evolved from then. Um, can you tell us more? Yes. About uh, it? So the first uh, costume it was more of a General Aladdin from Dictator that I had. It was with the uh, ski goggles. Then uh, I had my second costume, which was the red, uh, you know, red. Uh, Middle Eastern one, which was uh, all uh, made in Iran. And uh, now that I immigrated to Canada, I felt like uh, I needed to change a bit. So I took it to next level. I wear a t-shirt like you guys, and I just have a hat. And I feel like this is uh, what, I, what makes me happy, you know? This is uh, what I like. Okay. Yeah. Um... You always been really talented from the beginning. Thank you. Yeah. You're the Habibi. Thank you. Regarding <laughs> to like production music and making dubstep, you've been even like from your first single on Ever Said I, it was really, really good. Thank you. What's your relationship with music and music production? Well, uh, since I was a kid, I, uh, I used to play Darbuka, Djembe, all the percussions. Uh, but uh, when I was like around uh, 10, 11 years old, I had this uh, project for school to make a uh, buzzers, like a ring for mm -hmm. the doors. And then since then, uh, I discovered how to make melodies and everything, you know, like uh, I did it with buzzer, the door buzzer, to change the tone and, you know, and that got me into music. Then I started uh, from nothing, from zero. No, no theory, no theory knowledge, just percussions. Uh, I started from zero. Then uh, I have a bunch of friends, all in Iran, all my uh, producer friends. We all started together to learn, and that's how I became. And uh, it's never, it was never a academic thing to do. It was all coming from my heart, and all hours of experience. Okay. Yes, and for. Dubstep, I just do it. I, I just try. You know, it's it's not uh, it's not something that I can explain. It's just you know uh, Middle Eastern magic. You call that yes. Okay, and from the beginning, you decided to focus your life on music, or you did like no, study. No, uh, it was uh, at first. It was all like okay, I'm gonna do it because it seems interesting. I was going for uh, programming at first. And then when, uh, you know, uh, I got supported by Savant, I got supported by Getter. And then after I got to work with Datsik and I got to Firepower Records, that started to, you know, come up. And then I thought, uh, you know, I realized it's a, it's a full-time thing to do. And, you know, uh, thanks to all my team, uh, this, is the, this is the road that I had to go to come here. Yes. <clears throat> Can we talk about your origins? I yes, uh, I am Iranian from Tehran, Iran. And uh, Iran is, the, is a part of Middle East. Uh, what I try to represent with my brand is more of culture of Middle East. Uh, we have kebabs, which everyone loves. Uh, and uh, I am very proud to be there, to be from there. You know, I really embrace it. I really love the culture. And I hope uh, everyone gets that love for Middle East because it's underrated as fuck. Okay. Um, you have always uh, have been uh, eat your identity? Yes. Can you uh, tell us Yes. About? So uh, my country uh, is a country that uh, has banned EDM because of uh, different factors, including religion. And, uh, you know, it's illegal to be a DJ there and stuff. It's very uh, not, uh, you know, it's not there. And people do it underground. 
And, uh, you know, for me doing it, it just puts me in danger, especially since I'm touring. So I decided to, you know, cover that. And now that I'm in Canada, I still do that because first, first of all, I have to protect my family who is in Iran. And second of all, I am ambassador of artists in Iran who are trying to do the same thing for me, but they are blocked, you know, like they, they have the same experience as I had before. Um, <coughs> tu parles français Oui, un petit peu. Est-ce que tu as décidé d'apprendre le français Qu'est-ce que tu peux nous en dire euh, Quand, quand j'ai joué à l'Animal, le avril 2018, euh, j ai, j ai, comme, ma voyage en France était très délicieux. J'ai adoré le, la, le, euh, le, la cuisine française et la culture. Et euh, c'est pour ça que c'était intéressant. Alors, quand je suis revenu en Iran, j'ai décidé de prendre des cours de français et je le poursuis euh, au Canada. Okay. Juste. Um, let's get back to the Sultan. Uh, what are you preparing for this year? Yes, uh, so I have uh, two singles coming this month in February. <laughs> And then I have uh, much more, you know, uh, you could expect the uh, EP this year. I have uh, many tracks because uh, uh, immigration, touring and different factors stopped me from being from doing so much in 2018 and 19. But this year I'm gonna I'm gonna be more productive, especially I'm doing a tutorial series on my YouTube channel as well. Um, do you have a favorite French artist? Yes, uh, it's Tromay. And uh, for a uh, uh, French based artist, I like Ivory. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Uh, do you have uh, best and worst memories yes. from a party? Yes. So, my best memory, I actually have two, but the most special one is Animal 2018 uh, because it was my first time playing uh, on you know, in front of the crowd and in the world. And, you know, when I dropped my first song, you know, it was just like a, a like an orgasm, you know, it was like so beautiful and, you know, very, very enjoying. And my uh, worst experience, I would say, uh, what can I, <laughs> uh, it was my uh, show in Toulouse, not because of the crowd or anything, it's because, uh, my luggage got stuck in my previous flight and I didn't have uh, my uh, clothes and my outfit to wear. So I had to, you know, do a, like a custom outfit and oh, everything. Okay. That was like the, you know, it just put me in a, like a ball of stress because of okay. that. But uh, like, except that all my parties, every show, everyone's so nice to me. I love everyone, uh, especially all the Habibis who come and say hi, you know? Okay. Yes. And uh, to finish, do you have anything to say to the French uh, dubstep scene? Uh, well, uh, I can just say, be yourself, embrace your culture, because Sultan is not a DJ and producer. Sultan is a culture. Embrace your culture, love your, uh, love your culture, and try to be yourself, because I can see everyone is jumping on the bandwagon, you know, But uh, I can say being unique and never giving up uh, is the most important fact because from where I come from and how I got into the scene, I can say it's impossible for anyone to make it. You know, like it's, it's not impossible for anyone to make it because if you want, you can absolutely do it. There is no barriers. There is nothing that can block you. Okay. Yes. Thank you a lot. No problem, you're the Habibi, don't worry. Thank you. Don't worry. Break your motherfucking neck, yeah.